Today we find ourselves in Conneaut, Ohio, and I found an abandoned Blue Roof Burger King along with a abandoned Kmart. So let's go walk around and see what we can find. So this is the typical Kmart with a Burger King in front of it. It looks like they like walled off the front counter for some reason. I wonder if they maybe tried to turn this place into like a different restaurant. I do know that um, across the street there is a Burger King. So that means this place moved instead of closed down. If I remember correctly, I don't want to get anything wrong, but I think this Burger King closed maybe six, seven years ago. Came out to Conneaut, you know, six, seven, eight years ago, and uh, this Blue Roof Burger King was in operation at the time. So, um, I think it's been, yeah, maybe 2016, 17, 18, something like that. Check out the trash area. Okay, yeah, that definitely looks like a homeless camp. Lots of alcoholic beverages. Not sure what that was. I think it probably had something to do with the restaurant. This Gateway Plaza is very <laughs> um, abandoned. It doesn't look very good at all. It's I feel like it's on like the bad side of town. This is the drive-through clearance nine feet sign. Old Burger King sign. It's very overgrown. Yeah, I think that Burger King is making a mistake when they close down the Blue Roofs because the Blue Roof restaurants are what make me actually want to go to Burger King if I ever was to go to Burger King. Definitely not the gray, boxy crap. You now they have some of the red tile. This drive through is... Okay. I thought it was going to be closed off. So that's where... They, they started to board up that counter. I don't know why they did that. Okay, so there's only one drive through window. It kind of seems like some place bought this building, started to do work on it, and then like gave up on it. So yeah, that is the Burger King. And then we have the former Big K. So we're gonna see how much of this we can walk around. So this plaza used to have I think it was a, I want to say maybe it was a Kroger or a Giant Eagle. I think actually, I think it was a Giant Eagle over there on the end. Next to the Dollar Tree. And then, yeah, so they just have a Dollar Tree in an auto zone. And I think that Dollar Tree is 
relatively new because I think it was just the auto zone at a certain point. And then the Kmart just turned into a storage center. Now, something interesting about this Kmart is that they closed in 2014 due to a leaky roof that they couldn't repair. Well, it was good enough to use for storage. I guess it wasn't good enough for Kmart to keep as a store. But there's definitely some elements to this old Kmart that are still intact. So this would be, I wonder if that would have been like the auto center of me. And then this looks like a, a garden shop. It's always a Burger King in front of a Kmart. Those are like completely blocked off. That's for sure a garden shop. Okay, so that's definitely somebody's stuff that they're storing. That's crazy. Okay, so now it's another business. It's now we have handy dandy handyman service. So this Kmart has become a storage place, a handyman business. they're using it I guess um, I wish it was used in a different way at least it's not rotting And I think this becomes a Dollar Tree. So I, I'm not sure where the Kmart ends. Okay, so this is the Dollar Tree and the Auto, whatever that place is called, Advanced Auto Parts. That's the whole Kmart. And that will conclude my tour of the abandoned Blue Roof Burger King in Conneaut. 
and I will see you guys on the next video.